Viper Rescue is a useful tool, as are many others, in the battle against malware. If you have a badly infected computer, you can download this either to the desktop, if you can't connect to the internet to use another machine, you can put it on a USB stick or USB device, and you can also run it in safe mode with command prompt. Simply download Viper Rescue. Now it's a big download, it's 75 megabytes, and there are regular updates. I updated this 24 hours ago, or I downloaded it 24 hours ago, and the version if I look at the properties with 6182 now save the file to your chosen location in this case it's going to my desktop it, as I said it is a big download 75 megabytes it will take a while now I've already downloaded this so I'm going to come out of there and close that window now I have some malware here which some of you will be familiar with and some of you won't now there's a bot which it ran and then it closed, but it has disabled the firewall. Dog. Now I know between these there is a TDS rootkit, uh, there's a password stealer, there's a fake antivirus, and dog exe is running here. So we'll run the installer for the fake antivirus and see what this comes up with and as you can see we've got a command window that opened and closed and security tool is installed and I will stop this from running continue on protected and click OK and close that window now the icons here have disappeared but I'm still left with bot now this one shouldn't be running so I can quite safely end that process now if I go to my USB stick, I have Viper Rescue. Just double click it, run. Do you wish to extract the Viper Rescue scanner to your computer? Click yes, unless you're using the command prompt and you'll need to locate it in safe mode with command prompt. Make sure these boxes are ticked. When done unzipping, open forward slash deep scan dot bat. Unzip and it will unzip the files. Now there's 77 files I think it is and it will take just a few seconds to completely unzip it and then the interface will open in a command window. It takes a long time to scan so don't do anything else just leave it to run and see what it finds. 77 files unzipped, OK and the command window opens and we'll just enlarge this a little bit and it will go through and it will scan. As I said this can take a little while now there's a load of tools you can use uh, Avira have a rescue CD, Kaspersky, AVG they all have rescue CDs, they're all performing similar ways uh, this is carrying out a deep scan which it'll probably take about an hour or so I'd guess uh, I did it on another machine, it took me three hours, but I just let it run just to see what it did. And no program is perfect, there is no 100% solution, so you need to use other programs as well. But this will stop, hopefully, what I've installed, and I can then scan with something like uh, Super Andy Spyware or Malware Bytes and see what's left behind because those are both two very good scanners it will pick up a lot of traces that programs miss and as you can see it's picked up items here and there's a Trojan, Trojan, Trojan uh, security tool it's picked up so anything it picks up will be in red and when you get to the end it will then quarantine them and this is logged into a file on your C drive in the Viper folder and it's in XML format which will open up in a browser window so we'll come to that when this has finished its scan so I'll pause and let it scan and just let it do its thing and see what it comes back with okay the scan's finished there's 12 threats detected it started cleaning and a reboot is needed 
before I reboot, if I go to my C drive, you have Viper Rescue. And you simply open this and you have the XML document. And if we go through this, as you can see, there's SDRA64, low sec, low sec, Zbot, which is Trojan Zeus, Zbot again, and more low sec. and Win32 security tool uh, fake program, rogue program. So it's found these and it's removed them and again another Trojan here. So if I close this down and close this window I'll reboot the machine and come back and we will see if the fake scanner is still running or whether it's actually been stopped or whether there's any rootkit presence. Okay, I've rebooted and as you can see all the icons have gone and there's no traces of any pop-ups or anything like that. What I will do is launch Malwarebytes, which is one of my first choice along with Super Anti Spyware. They both work differently and they both work well. Now obviously the first thing to do is to update. Okay, that's it updated, so I'll click on scanner, carry out a quick scan and just see what it finds and see if there's any remnants left behind. Now whilst Malwarebyte is running I will also run Super Anti Spyware Portable and we'll see what that comes up with. So I will click here to start. Now again this is a portable version but the first thing I want to do is check for updates and allow it to download and install them. And as you can see the core version here is 4804 and we now have the core version 4817 which is updated here. So I'll scan, I'll do a quick scan, click next and see which that comes, you know, see what shows up here. So we have Super Under Spyware running and Malware Bytes which is found for infected objects. Okay, Malware Bytes, quick scan, 16 minutes, 45 seconds and 7 infected objects, backdoor bots. Rogues, security tool, malware trace. So I'll minimize this and let Super Anti Spyware carry on where it's found a rogue security tool and tracking cookies which normally see Keenan would take care of. Okay, Super Anti Spyware has finished its scan, quick scan 17 minutes. Tracking cookies, six items, neither here nor there really. And rogue security tool. So Malware bytes found backdoor bots in the registry. These programs all work differently. So I will remove selected there and click next here and remove the harmful items which will take other cookies as well. And both of these will prompt to reboot the machine to finalize the process. I'll click no here at the moment and wait for this. Some items could not be removed by malware bytes. It needs to be restarted to complete the removal process. So I'll click yes, reboot and come back. Okay, I've come back again, but curiosity always gets the better of me. So I'm going to run TDSS Killer because I know I installed a rootkit. And here it is. File objects infected, drivers atapi.sys infected by TDSS rootkit. So none of the three previous programs removed this. So all I have to do is click Y on the keyboard and reboot. It's that simple. If you want more information and you want the download links to any of these programs, check out my blog which is Free PC Security and you can find it at www.freepcsecurity.co.uk.